the Muslim contribution in America is very, very important. Um, it's still evolving, but it plays a, such an important role. It's just one of the few mu museums that really give us an idea, especially here on the East Coast. And then, you know, we're right here in Washington, D.C., so you've got the Smithsonian, which chronicles so much of the history of all parts of, of the, um, America, but very little history has yet been told regarding Muslims in America. And so Amir's um, uh, museum here is doing, is doing exactly that. And it, it focuses on African Americans and enslaved Africans, but it is very inclusive. That, that is not the only story being told. It is very inclusive of anyone in this country who is Muslim or is coming from an Islamic origin. You have a, an, a beautiful timeline from the birth of America. Muslims have been here and contributing to the fabric of America. Going back to slavery era and um, right up through the present, you will see pictures and paraphernalia relating to communities who um, are undocumented and there's just not that much information about them. Um, uncovers a lot of the early history of Muslims. You have Muslims in um, the Revolutionary War, you have Muslims in the Civil War. And not able to uh, practice uh, their expression, Islam, and through time uh, they, were, they were seasoned and uh, through their faith uh, and their patience and their perseverance, they were able to execute this way of life. It basically gives uh, much of the history that is still not in, in the book. It's a fantastic representation of the mosaic Muslim community. And for us to be in the most uh, diverse place in human history, uh, it's very important for them to have a understanding and grasp it and, and really run with it. So I would encourage anyone to come and check this museum out. There's so much um, going on, and it really helps to uncover a lot of the um, untold hi uh, cultural history of Muslims in America.